So you are in for a treat today. Today we are talking about renting and then buying, or what's looking like to come to move to Colorado Springs, and we're gonna show you three options for that possibility. Kind of reminds me, we do a video and we talk about the process and we're like, well, you can shop virtually, you can do this, this. This video is all about the people that want to come here and house hunt in person and they need like temporary housing. Yep. So we're talking about renting versus buying. Yeah, a little bit. And both. kind of that situation and, and how we help. most likely see it play out and how we help people. Right. So. Okay. If you guys are first time to our channel, we're Lori and Kayleen from Colorado's Finest Agency. Um, we help people make the move here to Colorado That's Springs. My call that number. All the time. Um, we absolutely love it. So give us a call or text um, and we can help talk you through what that looks like as you decide if Colorado Springs is for you. We just got number three on the best places to live in the U.S. And um, we obviously love living here. And so we're going to talk about the pros and cons and what that looks like a little bit. Um, in a future video, but today we're going to talk about what when you guys are like, well, maybe we should rent first, pros and cons and what that looks like. So let's get right to it. So first one I want to talk about is one of we don't help with too much, to be honest. If you want to come here and just rent for and ha have a year or two lease, um, we really don't help with that too much. Why? Well, because we honestly have to like get paid and there's no getting paid when you guys have to rent and it's a lot of work. And I'm just being completely honest with you guys. Now, with that being said, I think that we have some free tools out here. True. There's a video. Um, th this whole channel, uh, learning about Colorado Springs, you can use the interactive maps. You can see the different areas. Um, use our Facebook group, Colorado Springs, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Ask yes. about good places we appear. People jump on there all the time. What's a good place where I should rent? Um, is this a safe area? And I they will can say help Zillow is a good place to start True. for that. But we're also going to be putting together for you guys a list of apartment complexes that kind of more tailored to that in between. Like, right. it's hard to find a lease here that's not six months, a year, right. even two years. So we're talking about less than six months, how we help you guys. Right. So the first one we just mentioned is if you want a year or two year lease, use Zillow, hop on our Facebook group, Colorado Springs, what's going on, ask about great areas, ask suggestions on apartment complexes um, or housing areas, what that looks like, utilize that. Um, and in the future, if you ever do want to think of buying, you know, make sure, I'm sure you'll still watch our YouTube videos, but reach mm -hmm. out to us mm -hmm. and then we'd love to help you. Uh, but what Kayleen was mentioning was the second way I want to talk about when you rent, and that is um, like temporary, temporary, but long like temporary, long, <laughs> it's the middle of the road. <laughs> so, so three to six months, I would say. Yep. And so it's, and even more than 30 days, because mm -hmm. I would say we've had people come here and it's just a couple weeks. They need somewhere to stay. They even go to long-term hotels. But we, a lot of times, will, you know, help connect you with, like, a good Airbnb. We know a couple You're different websites. You're getting my third point. You're I'm, moving ahead of the I'm, whole video. I'm so sorry. Keep, <laughs> she's in trouble. Keep to... <laughs> Three to six months. Okay. That's where three we're Three to six months. Zone in. So right. if you're, Zoning. if Lori says, hey, this person needs a three to a six month What do you tell rental, them? I would say, well, we have a list of apartment complexes that do offer short term rentals. And that's really what that is. Yeah. Three to six months. Now, it's an apartment complex. So you're going to need to bring a bed. You're going to need to bring a couch, like mm -hmm. maybe some things for your kitchen because they are not going to be furnished. I think this is a good option when people say, well, I've never been to Colorado Springs before. I'm nervous to buy a house if I've never been there before. I want to make sure it's a good fit for myself, myself uh -huh. and family before we move there. So let me, can I start with a con though? Sure. With that. A con would be if you're moving here with children and school starts and you're in a temporary place where your kids then go to school because you have to have an address to register them for school. So you're kind of, I guess you can choice your kids in if you know you eventually want to put them in a certain school, but then you have to get them to school. Window. But once it's hard to move a whole family and once kids 
are settled into a school, it's really hard to pick them up and move them again to a different school. Mm -hmm. And we have families do it. We kind of help them figure out, hey, where do your kids want to go to school? Then let's find something in there that and that's that almost months. like a. a uh, more important than the apartment complex most of the time. Yeah, it's figuring out like kind of that area you want to live in so that mm -hmm. way you can start because it's, it's it is a lot of work to take kids from one school, put them in another one and then be like, okay, we're going to see if this fits and then we're going to, you know, maybe move them again. Move them again. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can kind of help navigate that a little bit because we know the emotional piece that goes into that and the logistics that go into that, whether that's school of choice here the choice window, all that kind of stuff comes into play. Or if they're going to go to a charter school, a private school, and it doesn't really matter anyway, yeah. then that's a good fit too. Mm -hmm. we're, we're risking our lives to show you guys some apartment options. I'm scared. I know this. <laughs> so come over here to see these. They're cute. So Colorado Springs has an initiative. They do for um, like more affordable housing. So there's a lot of products coming along that's more on the affordable side and there's also a lot of apartments and community living um you know multiple family multiple family housing projects going on so this happens to be a newer community uh right here right by banning lewis there i was hoping to show you how cute they are i do know that they have here come over here lori I do know that they have a pool area, a clubhouse. Um, different apartments have different products. You Again, can get a garage. These particular ones have detached garages. So if you're moving, maybe you just want to put majority of your stuff here and live in the apartment temporarily, you can do that. So the biggest kicker to apartments is what amount of lease are they offering? Some will only offer six, 12 month leases and some communities will offer a shorter term lease, but usually there's a little bit of a premium added to that. Our biggest issues that we've had for clients with apartments is breed restrictions and the amount of animals. So if you're moving here and you wanna find somewhere temporarily, you're fine moving twice. As long as you have under two animals, um, we have a better shot of find, helping you find a community if you have more than two animals, it gets really tricky looking for that short, short term with the animals. Mm -hmm. But you're talking for an apartment, you know, for a one bedroom, anywhere from like starting 1200 all the way for something newer. A lot of times you're like 15 to 1700 a month. For like a one bedroom. For a one bedroom. And then on top of that, if you have that short term lease, it's probably a couple hundred more a month. And I'd say a lot of our clients do the short term lease. They move here, get an apartment, kind of yeah. settle in you know, get their jobs established and everything, and then we'll start to look for, a, um, you know, a purchase for a single family home. So good option. There's a few different options like this throughout, obviously, the whole Colorado Springs area, but this is one. Yep. So we wanted to show you what renting looks like in the Springs. We have um, a couple of leads on, like, townhomes that our clients have purchased for investment yeah. a little bit for something like that as well. So that... And I will I say pets. Pets are a problem. When you call oh, us you're and you exactly say right. that you have four dogs and six cats, probably not going to happen. <laughs> or even two dogs, two cats. That's a rock. I would go. say very general, like, even like box two big dogs, things. Though. Like two is usually, we can kind of help when people are like, we have more than two. That gets really hard. Yeah, there's not all places who are like, yes, bring all your animals. I'm fine with it. It's, it's just, hard. I, I know everyone. I have two dogs. Kayleen has I have two, two dogs. dogs. We love animals. Why do we have, you have three kids, I have three kids, I you know. have one husband, I have one husband, you have two dogs, I have two dogs. I don't have two husbands, I only can handle one. We're good. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I get it. Like, I just think, like, pets, we love them, but they are tough when you are thinking uh -huh. of renting. Um, even for long-term renting, they, it, it, and you love your fur babies. It's a tackle. It's tough. Something we have to tackle. Now, I will say another logistics piece that makes it, like, you're going to move your stuff from wherever you're coming from to the apartment, you're gonna to have to set up temporary house shop, whatever. And then if you decide to buy, you're gonna to have to pick up again and move again. And sometimes people have like, all right, we're gonna move in minimal stuff, but then what do you do? Like do you get a storage unit, like it's kind of overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes people then like, if even if they're, they want to do it this way, they start thinking through logistics and they're like, 
how long do you think this is going to take us? Mm -hmm. And sometimes what the better fit is, I'm going to jump ahead because it just makes sense to do this, (laughs) is Airbnb, a furnish finder, something like that, because you pack up where you're at in, in Texas, the different state, wherever you're coming from, it's in a pod. You buy yourself maybe 30 to 60 days staying in a furnished rental, so that we have time to then go shop and make you, sure you, Colorado Springs you can, is for you. Yes. And it buys you enough time that you'll feel comfortable. But the logistics piece is so much easier at that point because you can move your belongings, maybe even just keep them stored in a pod and then shop in person and then we get you under contract and you get settled. Yeah, we're gonna show you a couple of these firsthand, so stay so, with us here. I want to yeah. know that we're gonna show you a couple of apartment complexes and a couple Airbnbs. And actually, um, I'm creating right now, as we speak, a quick one sheet guide on maybe some of our top uh, Airbnbs, uh, midterm rentals, and a couple of like shorter term apartment complexes that maybe do a shorter lease. So it gives you that flexibility to come out here, get to know Colorado like Springs. Like a quick list, try these people these ones and if it doesn't work yeah. no I'm just kidding but I know there it's a good option and I, a lot of people do kind of go through this so we wanted to do a quick little video on renting here in Colorado Let's, Springs what it looks like I I don't know if this is on your list of things to you cover. Can add to my list um what about if they're military and we've had a lot of people say well we can live on base yes and no <laughs> so we've had during it seems like there's influx with base housing and sometimes a year it's available, and sometimes a year there's no base housing available. Or you just don't want to live on base. Or I mean, they just don't want to live on base, but sometimes it's a good option. I would say check with housing and see if there's even any availability. We want to stop. We interrupt our video real quick because I want to show you a couple options if you didn't want like an apartment per se, which are harder to get short term. Um, you know, a lot of our clients will rent a single family home like Kayleen is showing you right now. So there's a couple different options. One is you can do like an Airbnb where it's furnished. A lot of our clients will put their belongings or move from one state, put their stuff in a pod, store it for a little bit, and then they will rent a furnished. We have a couple clients actually know of a couple of them that have more of a midterm rental. They'll rent it for a few months while we look for houses here. Um, The other option is to rent a traditional rental single family home, unfurnished. You move your stuff in. Yes, you are moving twice, uh, but sometimes we try to look for homes that will take maybe a three to six month rental period while you look for a home here. Do keep in mind, again, the pets, if you have one animal, maybe doable. When you get more than one, it gets a little bit more tricky. Um, Some will not allow pets at all. You gotta think of a security deposits. And then there's one other thing I was gonna tell you about that. What was it, Kayleen? Probably a premium. Like, especially if they're furnished, they're, you know, 2,300 plus a month, maybe. Yeah. For like, not a single family, but Mm -hmm. one of those furnished rentals. If you're looking at single family home, um, you know, then you're usually looking at at least a six month lease. Yeah, and a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more, but you also want to think about those if you, a lot of our clients will have kids. And oh, so you know what? Getting them, getting them the district, settled. That's getting them settled, getting gonna... them into the district. You have to live in the district a lot of times if you're not in that choice window. We can yeah. help walk you through all of that as well uh, once you reach out to us. But if you're thinking of renting short term and making that transition, make sure to reach out to us. We do it all the time and we'd love to help you. And then if that's an option, then great. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, like we've just had some people run into that problem where they're like, there is no base housing. And, you know, it's our, our Colorado Springs Markets is a good market to get into. It is a little bit more expensive, I will say, but a lot of our military, most of our military clients, I can only think of one who didn't apply for, but most people who got in left they with good, good equity. Money. I mean, we just sold in a couple of them. a couple of years. Mm-hmm. And that's a, no But you got to know, you got to know your areas and you got to know, where people get in trouble is they buy a home in a community that has just started and then they go to sell in two years and, and they aren't finished. They're not uh, finished building. building, and you can't compete right now with building incentives, or it, that's where people get in trouble. So make sure you reach out to us so we can make sure you're getting into a community that's going to get you some good equity quickly. Mm-hmm. And we can help advise on that. Yeah. So I do think you know renting versus buying. Um, if you look at our market, we've had we had just got a house under contract yesterday, and she's going to walk away with forty thousand after not even a year. So. There is options. You just have to know because she got in at six oh five, 
and we're selling and we're selling at 675 $6. within 11 months so it's but when we got that home i was like this is a great we price knew point it was a good buy for this area and the house wasn't perfect but she put in minimal money into the home made it beautiful now we're selling it for top dollar yeah so if you want to rent, there's like use Zillow, use our Facebook group page for that long-term rental. If you're just a renter, I would encourage you to think of buying. It is the, one of the best ways. I know I'm a real estate agent, but one of the best ways to build your family's wealth um, long-term is through buying a home. And I will say, um, you touched on it briefly, but Colorado is, um, can be, I get it's all perspective, a more expensive state to move to. It is. If like just be also realistic that you know we never want you to be house poor if you have a budget we're going to stick within that budget and we're going to find you the best possible option within that budget and um in hopes that even if you decide you're staying here and you aren't moving away from Colorado Springs we can help you trade up that property eventually as well yeah some people when they think they want their forever dream home and they have a $450,000 budget, you know, it's just a little bit of showing you what's out there. You warm up to the idea, but we've also then helped people that have bought that. And like you said, resold in a few years and now they have this nice nest egg to go buy yeah. a more expensive We're working with a young home. family right now. We had to go, they wanted to live in a certain area and they were just coming to the realization that that's not going to happen on their first house, getting everything they want. So, like, we're going to go in for four years when she, our daughter, is older. Well, then we want to buy something that fits more of all of our needs. And we'll have the equity then after we purchase this home to move to the desired area and the home we want. But we want to start building that equity now instead of renting. And so that's kind and of so what we're going And so that's using through. real estate as an investment tool and we're really good at seeing the potential to a place, understanding a neighborhood, and understanding um, how equity can work, and reading those comps and saying, yes, but you're here now. If you do X, Y, Z, potentially we'd be looking at this. Mm -hmm. So it's a great investment. Yeah. And so those are all conversations. Actually, I think that's kind of my favorite type of real estate. Um, I do because I like to see the potential in something that um, like sometimes you're like, mm, I don't know what you could do to this. And then there's sometimes I'm like, geez, for that price, it's a really good buy. Mm -hmm. And if they did this, this and this, it's yeah. probably going to cost, you know, X amount of dollars. But then they can sell for this. Yeah, like the home I saw this last weekend, I was like, oh, I don't think you, you should have to buy that. You trust us. No, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's like, yeah, I just you went couldn't to that see. One. There's just a lot of things you couldn't change. And. Anyways, it was, it was, I was like, oh. and we're honest that way as well. Like mm -hmm. if there is something you're like, I think that's going to cost a lot of money to do that. And I don't think you're going to get your money back out of it. We have those conversations a lot or like that one you went to, you're like, I told them, I I'm think like, we can do better. I'm like, I want to know in four years when you do want to sell that you come to us and I'm like, oh good. You have some we're equity. Yeah. I can sell this. This is going to sell, you know, you have the comps are in there. And I was like, I don't know if I can tell you that in this one. And yeah. so we will have those honest conversations. Yep. With clients for sure. So, so I know we stopped this video kind of like sporadically and showed you some different options for okay. that rental option. So I'm glad, thanks for sticking with us on that. But uh, make sure you give us a call or text. Um, if you're thinking of that renting, just, you know, text us a little bit. Tell us a little about what you're thinking of. Um, we can send you that one page um, rental guide that will walk you through some of our favorite short term rentals, some of our favorite midterm rentals. Um, to kind of help you navigate that because we know that a lot of you are moving from out of state and want to get to know the area first. Majority of our clients come out here and they will buy. Um, they come out for a weekend. They have been out here to visit first beforehand. Um, we can help set you guys up on school visits. We do it all. Um, but if you are like really hesitant, you're like, I need to rent first. We get it. We understand. So make sure you use our resource that we put together for you guys so you can move and maneuver that pretty well. So, And in addition to Lori and I, you get not only us, but our entire team who helps you navigate these moves, especially state to state. It can be overwhelming. There's a lot of moving pieces. And so not only do you work with Lori and I, but we have a really good trusted lender who helps navigate um, really, it's essential to, to how logistics to play out to like know 
what steps you need. Like, don't put in your notice here until we get to this point. Don't do this before we do this. Mm -hmm. And so you work with our lender. We have really good, all sorts of different contractors that we use all the time. So if we get something under contract and you're like, ah, oh, we're definitely going to need flooring. We're definitely going to need this or that. We got you covered. We have a really good home inspector. We have a really good transaction coordinator who we love, She's love, amazing. love so much. Like this weekend um, I called Kaylee and I'm like, how much do you think it's going to cost to move, remove 2,000 square feet of popcorn ceiling? <laughs> I was, I was like, like mm, let me shoot uh, a text real quick. Yeah. yeah. So we put all those but numbers in place. But you get to work with us and our entire team and network of people who we trust in our Colorado Springs area. So, so put this number into, into your phone. Give us a call or text anytime. We'd love to help you make move to Colorado. So for now, we are out from Colorado.